All right, people, Long Red One here, and here are my first impressions for the Uncharted 4 beta. Yesterday, I did um, two streams. I did one on um, YouTube first. That was like an hour and 30 minutes. That's up on my channel right now. And then I did one on Twitch. I don't know if they archived or not, because for some reason, they at least they, at least to my knowledge, they, they took away archiving on Twitter. So I'm not on Twitter on Twitch. They probably haven't, but I'll have to look. Anyway, um. Here are my first impressions from Uncharted 4 is beta. Um, I'll get right to the chase when it comes to the biggest question. Is it balanced? Kind of. Here, here's what I'll say about this game. It's definitely not as good as Uncharted 2, but it's eons better than Uncharted 3. And I'll get into why. I'll break it down. Basically, um, the gun-on-gun -gun -gun combat or the movement in general. So the way this game works, there's no sprint anymore. Um, we knew that from... Um, off-screen footage we got weeks before. No sprint, everybody just moves fast. The game's running 900p60, it looks great. Um, definitely could be improved. I mean, of course this is running 60, so compromises were made, but this could look better by launch. The fluidity of the movement in this game is what stands out the most, in my opinion, because, and I know it's not just the 60 frames, because 60 will make the game feel smoother regardless. We, we know that. But they did, the movements in here are amazing like it feels so fluid like at 30 frames this would still feel smoother than um uncharted 2 and 3 but the 60 just complements it so well so the fluidity in the movement is great the um aiming this game you have to be good at aiming to do good and i'm happy to report that you have to be good at the game you can't just blind fire and punch your way to victory like you could in 3 so in that way it's definitely better the um Punching now is three hits to down, and um, blind fire in this game, for the most part, sucks, which is really good. I mean, like right here, I was blind firing that guy and totally destroyed him, and then this guy too. But they were running the fuck at me like idiots, so blind fire was effective there as it should be. If I were to do that to them, they probably they most likely would have killed me, and that's the way it should be. So blind fire is definitely back to how it should be. Well, even then, Uncharted 2's was BS if you got too close. But here it, it's perfect. Blind fire is great here. Don't 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 change it anyway. Um, grenades and like the whole gear system. So the loadout system for this game is heavily inspired by The Last of Us and a lot of the stuff in this game. Is. I didn't hit this guy here. Got, got blind fired. But um, the loadout system. You have 25 points in your loadout system, and you can do stuff like the AK was I think one. The pistol I was using was the revolver. I think that was like two. I don't remember off exactly, but there's loadout points you can use. You can pick um, a long gun and a side gun. Um, you can pick a sidekick, a mystic, and gear. And gear is what now you'll call the grenades because you can choose either a grenade, C4, a smoke bomb, or a mine, or a med tech as you can throw on a live teammates. And, um,. To be honest, the way the grenades work now, I don't like it that much. It's using a cooldown system. Like, if you look down at the um, grenade icon near my gun, you'll see that circle slowly going um to fill itself up. When it's full, I can throw the grenade. And um, I don't like these cooldown systems for starting to do in games. Like, I liked it better in um two and three where you could um pick up the grenade off the map because now it's like cooldown. Like if if it, was, if it was Uncharted 2 and I picked up a grenade after I just threw one, I should still have the grenade here. Unless you, like, level your grenade all the way up, because you can level up grenades now. And you have an extra one, you're screwed. And But to counter that, they did make the grenades a lot stronger. Like, the radius of them now. They show um, the radius as you're throwing the grenade, so it's like, oh, I didn't land it exactly, but it'll still do damage. I, I do kind of like that, because that way if you're in a pinch to throw a quick grenade, you can tell that'll definitely at least do some damage. And um, I didn't I haven't used the C4, the miner, all that crap. I've used the med kit. That's really effective. A lot of people on um, my team use it too, and really helpful for when you're down and in cover, and it just picks you up automatically. So that's really helpful. Yeah, I tried to throw a grenade there, and it's saying I still had five five seconds, and now I got the grenade. But um, yeah. So gear, not bad. I don't like it that much, but it's it's at least interesting and not broken. So I can report on that. The Mystics. The Mystics, surprisingly, don't bother me that much. The only time the Mystics are annoying is when people put out more than one at once. Like, when people have out, like, that, um, one that slows you down, and the, um, 
El Dorado kick El Dorado um, missed kick off the kickback, my bad. When people are like two of those out, it gets annoying. And when the whole team has El Dorado and the whole team uses it right after each other, that just gets to the point where it's bullshit. I have one match I didn't even I didn't record it because I didn't um see it until the end of the match and I was too pissed to hit the share button. They were using El Dorado every goddamn chance they got. Like there were at least six El Dorados in that match. All from the enemy team. I'm like, what the fuck? One went away, she threw one out right where it was. I'm like, oh god. Whole team was using El Dorado. That was annoying. That was just bad. So by the by itself, it's not bad. You can easily run away. And like, so it's not broken by itself. But when they use like three of them, it just gets annoying and bullshit. So Mystics, not that bad. Um The Spirit of the Djinn, that's the only one that I would say annoyed me besides El Dorado. That one is just it's not so much annoying because it, it actually it is it's annoying not so much dangerous because you can easily defeat someone using it like it, it, it makes them look strong and powerful but if the whole team is like aiming at him he's fucked because he can dash all he wants when you have that on you have less health so they were smart enough to add that so you can just drop him and then like i knocked one out um during the live stream this one guy was warping around me with it that was just like come here so i blind fired and punched him and I just kept punching him, and eventually he went down, even though he had on the Spirit of the Djinn. So, if, you, if they don't know how to use it, they're definitely not going to get um, any kills with it. So, at least that's just annoying and not broken. Glad for that. The other ones in the beta, um, Chintamani Stone and um, the Staff. The staff isn't that bad, because you can destroy it in like five shots of, of uh, the Assault Rifle. Like, right there. Yeah, right there, I destroyed it. And I got like 200 bucks for destroying it. Um, this guy's an idiot. I throw a grenade, then he aims up. <laughs> but, um, so yeah, you can, um, destroy the staff. The, um, slowdown one is annoying, too. I got caught in that a few minutes ago before I started recording. And I, I was able to get out, but I still got killed because my team was stuck in it. So I was the only one that was actually, like, being effective in the battle. And this guy just threw out El Dorado. The, um, charged melee right here. I don't know how I feel about it. It's, um, it's not something that I would say is broken, but it's just like, where the hell did that come from? But um, you know, get in. It's balanced though, because if you charge it, you have you have to hold that that um animation the whole time you have it charged, so you can't shoot. So once again, they balanced it. Good on Night Dog for balancing stuff. That's why I, I keep using that word because they, they did do it for most of the stuff in this game. And the sidekicks. I still have the biggest problem with the sidekicks. Why are NPCs in the multiplayer? Also, why are NPCs in the multiplayer when this game isn't even using dedicated servers? It's just like those are two double negatives right there. Now, luckily, I haven't seen any lag so far with the NPCs, but it's still, they shouldn't be in, in this game in general. And they definitely shouldn't be in this game when it's only using um, P2P connection. And yeah, uh, this guy got wrecked. I, I didn't get this last kill, but um, I, <laughs> a few seconds after. But um, yeah, so I don't understand why that's why that happens. But um, what else? The sidekicks. The, the um, Brutes. That's the one I see people using the most. The Brute. Because he is the most effective at this point in time. The Brute um, is the one that has the um, heavy machine gun and um, armor. But the Brute. The fun thing about the Brute. Nylog was saying, oh yeah, he's a bullet sponge. He can take a lot of bullets. If you shoot the Brute in the head, all his armor stops working. I like That might be a bug. I'm not entirely sure. But when you shoot them in the head, like four bullets land on their head. They stagger, and it's like all their armor on their body stops working. That might be a bug, but um, that's why I just do to aiming brutes now. So I myself can take out the brute if I would just like shoot the head, take cover, get my health back, and shoot him with the full clip. That's at least 90% of his health gone, or he's dead. And then when the whole team does it, he, you can kill the sidekick in like four seconds. The um hunter, which runs around chasing people, he's a fucking he's fucking annoying. Um. I, you can't kill him. I killed him with um, a full clip when he was running right at me. So they're not like overpowered when it comes to the health. When they do grab you, you hit triangle to get out. And I think like in like six seconds of, of um, matching triangle, you can get out. But like still six seconds. If the team is close, you're fucked. So I don't know. It's annoying. It's something that's just fucking annoying. Like uh, this game mode is 5v5. When it, you should make it 5v6 because that's what it is. But um, when you summon the um character like that. Okay, that was the hunter. The sniper is actually annoying if you if they put him in the right spot, but um, you can kill um kill the sniper easily, so not that bad. The um medic or the assistant, whatever it is, that picks you up and gives you ammo to the team. 
not that that one's um more passive than aggressive. He will shoot, but he's not meant for combat, so that one's okay. Um, annoying when you shoot someone else and he blocks your way to start taking the bullets. That's like you know just NPC is getting in the way and shit. But that's with that. The um I, I covered the mystics, the um sidekicks. There's purchasable weapons. Um. <clears throat> The only ones I've used so far, I've used the um, assault rifles. The um, there was one I forgot what it's called, like a Ace ARL or something. I used that one. It's like a high rate of fire, not really anything special. And I just unlocked the um light machine gun. I haven't used that yet. Once I know this video, I'm gonna go play some more. But um, those are interesting. Um, I'm, I'm, you can tell they got those right from Last of Us. But um, it's not as effective in Last of Us. And that brings me to my close to final point of this video. The, 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 the Last of Us had severe influences on this game. Some of them are good, some of them aren't. Like, the down system, in my opinion, should not be here. I mean, don't get me wrong, I take advantage of it. I have on the booster that lets me pick people up 200% faster. Just because that's how it should be. If you're going to implement the down system in here, they shouldn't have it take as long to pick up people. With Last of Us, the speed of picking up people in there is, makes sense because that's a slow-paced game. With Uncharted 4, this is fast-paced as hell, and they kept the same revive speed. That shouldn't, it, it needs to be faster by default. With my 200% um, increase because of the booster, it makes sense that it should be like a little bit slower than that for the default pickup speed. So, when I use it, I'm like, yeah, there we go, I can pick people up. And then, like, luckily, if you're destroying somebody and they're down, you can kill them before they even, like, go into the official down state. And um, then like there's the one down but not out. That's freaking useless in this game because if you're not gonna get picked up and the enemy is right there, you, you're dead. Like if, um, they have the kick now instead of the executions. The kick, which um knocks people out. If the one doesn't get you, the second one will. So I, I don't get it. And then bullets, like if four bullets, if um three bullets don't kill you, five will. So down system should either be like kind of removed or at least just tweaked so that it's way faster because right now it just I can tell like why do they have Last of Us and Uncharted like some things make sense like um the loadout system I'm glad they added that the um <clears throat> purchase weapons and stuff the way you purchase things um in this in the in-game store I like that so they, there are certain things from Last of Us that made sense but like reviving systems going down that's no that shouldn't be in here and also, this is this is the only pet peeve I have with the game. My dog, add the original kill sound from Uncharted 2 and 3. That's not even me asking for a major game overhaul. That's just me asking for you to implement a sound bite in replace of another one. Because they have the same ammo pickup sound, but they definitely need to have the Uncharted kill sound. Like when you knock out people, I want to hear that um, whistle chime. And you people, you people know what I'm talking about that have um, played 2 and 3. It's not in here. That's annoying to me. I, I, I want that chime. It's not Uncharted without the chime. <laughs> but, um, yeah. So, I've gone over the Mystics, the um, Sidekicks, Purchasable Weapons, Loadouts. Weapons, um... One thing about the weapons. When you watch gameplay, you're going to think, Oh my god, that recoil is atrocious. It's actually way more controllable than you would think. It's, um... It looks... It's arcade-ish when it comes to, um, how the how the um, aiming works but it you can be accurate with the um guns like the AK it looks like it has crazy recoil I've gotten people down in a few shots with um just good aiming so it's it's all good so yeah you gotta play it to understand it because yeah you're gonna watch it and be like what the fuck how do you aim with that but don't worry once you see it you'll understand anything else um it's a good variety of guns in the beta um they've got a lot of characters in the beta um They've put out one update at the time of me, um, actually, it's called, um, three updates at the time of me recording this video. None of them have done anything drastic, but they've, like, said, like, improved performance, made a few tweaks, but I haven't noticed any. So, so far, I'm liking it. It is a fun game. I do recommend it. If, um, for people that want to play the game, but you're like, I don't want to buy the collection, here's what you need to do to get into the demo, I mean, into the beta. Put the disc inside your system. Start playing Drake's Fortune or any of the games. Then we have to start, just make a save file for it. And then there you go. Just um, go down to overview on the PS4's menu. And you'll see the beta on the side, um, in the overview section of the game. 
just do that. I did that with my friend. My friend that was playing um in the stream yesterday. We we, we live close to each other, so I went over to his house, put the disc in his system, let him play Drake's Fortune for like five minutes, and sure enough, he was able to download the beta and play with me yesterday. So yeah, all you gotta do is um put the disc in your system. You don't have to buy it. Just ask like a friend. If anyone any of your friends have it, but like, hey, can I borrow this disc for like five seconds, bro? And um like if and then for those of you that don't go to um Redbox or something, just put the disc in your system. Like it's Really easy to get into this beta. I don't. I actually don't think they're gonna open it up to the public because they opened up. They um released the beta one day early, and I was surprised by that. But um, yeah, I recommend it. I recommend checking it out. I know some people aren't gonna like it. This game is way different than what people would um expect for a multiplayer game. But um, it is fun. I can admit that it is fun. Even the matches where I'm losing, I at least have fun during those matches. So um. And like I said, the movements, oh my god, it feels so fluid. Like, it's, I, I, when I go back to, like, another third-person shooter now, I'm going to feel, like, so stiff. Like, I won't feel stiff in Last of Us, because that's the way that game is made, is for slow pace, but fast-paced, or what's supposed to be fast-paced third-person games, oh, it's not going to be the same no more. But, um, yeah, those are my thoughts on the Uncharted 4 beta. Good so far, I'm liking it. Could use a lot of, um, tweaks. A few balance checks, but yeah, these things I recommend you all check it out. So, I have the link down to the live stream in the description. Please go check it out. And thanks for watching. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe for that one nation under PC and PlayStation. Peace.